and the bears. Shampoo. Projects. What's round two? Wow, I have an IQ of seven, and I still know that she's black and not blue. Don't you know your colors? Sound cream. But I thought you gave us a meow Pancakes! Meow class! Hey, look! There's some candy! Meow class! Bleh! is a pirate reference. Maybe you need an eye patch now. <laughs> Sour cream! Pig tail waffles, man! <laughs> Given my power about path in free fall under gravity's influence and ignoring our resistance due to insignificance in the context of my diving speed, perhaps I have a 3 out of 36 chance of actually making it into the water. Marshmallow is me. I'll never fall. <coughs> because she beat it. <laughs> Indeed. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <coughs> I'm out of lemons. You don't understand. I am nothing without my citrus. Sour cream. <laughs> Actually, it's Taco and I. Sh <laughs> okay, then I'll use my lemons to crack the faulty towel and jump to the next one. Oh, right. Oh, um, I don't think. Mint and apples. OJ! Sour cream! Sour cream! Sour? Oh, hey! <laughs> Salmonella. Awesome! <laughs> Not even a million squats. <laughs> <laughs> um, sour cream. No! No! Stop cheering, you fools! This is all wrong. I was built to win. My plan was perfect. Yes, you were all utterly fooled. Do you honestly think that I was that half-witted? I merely pretended to be an idiot, not to be seen as a threat, and to make the viewers like me more. Of course you don't. You were never really my friend. You were just part of my cover. So be it. It wasn't his fault my strategy fell short of success anyway. It was that demented pink headgears. It's you, you dolt. But luckily enough, Mithon is nowhere to be seen, and I'm not going to let Bo stop my plan from completion. What? Unhand me, you uncultured breakfast beverage! Dear Mike's Diary, today I accidentally lost the triathlon. Hope no one holds it against me. Dear Mike's Diary, I don't always do well in challenges, but they have to understand I sometimes pull through. Dear Mike's Diary, I may be loud, but I still go under the radar. Dear Mike's Diary, Dear Mike's Diary, Dear Mike's Diary. Annoying, harmful, random, useless, insignificant, loser. All I want is to help. We done? I have no intention of going deaf today. All right, ready to converse in a civilized manner? <laughs> Microphone, sit down. Now, listen to the story of just how irritatingly pathetic you are, and thereby, how much you need me. <laughs> Microphone, your loose cannon. A wild card, if you will. Will you? Some may call it diverse gameplay. I recognize it as chaos that must be reined in. Take it from last season's loudmouth, yours truly. Microphone, your moves may be bold, but they should be more precise. That's where I come into play. I'm just attempting to make ends meet. 
50-50 split of the million. That's it. Microphone, let's face it. Without me, you'll be left with squat. Not even a million squats, and you'll shed countless tears regarding what might have been if you had listened to Dear Taco. Just think it over, microphone, all right? Give it a good think. Let me know if necessary. It's your game. You have so much to gain. Ah, maybe you aren't as half-witted as I thought. It's not what I want from you. It's what you want from me. Seems like you're having some trouble in that maze. I could easily help you out. Easily. Left. Left. Right. Right. Left. Wow, you really got yourself jumbled up. <clears throat> Left. One more turn, and you're out. Did you hear that? We'll see how he does, Nickel tellingly exclaimed. Meaning... This challenge is a test of Balloon's ability. Yourself. <laughs> oh, how adorable. This isn't about winning for yourself. It's about setting us up for the future. Baseball and Nickel are clearly looking for a reason to get Balloon out. Your job is to provide them with that reason. Is this concrete enough for your liking? Oh, I've managed to acquire... Hmm. Some may call it a temporary paralyzer. You didn't seem to have a problem when I spoon-fed you the directions out of the maze. Advice? Just adv- I believe actual directions are a bit more, for lack of a better term, direct. <sighs> Ethics will get you nowhere, microphone. Enough! Baseball blamed you for the tie last episode, so who do you want the target painted on? Your back or balloons? Hmm, wow, it's almost as if the choice is clear, so let's pounce on these tensions while the time is still ripe. What are you doing? That was my gift to you! You just had to take it! You have no respect for the game. No gratitude! No, microphone. Instead, you found a way to manage manipulation that functioned inside the rules of the game. Somehow balancing my respect for both the competition and the good old-fashioned messing with people. I had no idea such a strategy was even possible. I must say, I'm very impressed. Now, just keep your mouth shut and let them go at it. So, you're flying solo now. Good riddance to that miserable team. Baseball's alliance was bound to snap. You just sped up the inevitable. Now, naming your team Chicken Leg, that's permanent damage for you. No, but it was hilarious. Good times indeed. Giving back this temporary paralyzer though? My, that's neither strategic nor amusing. Ugh, so vanilla. Fine. Just play it cool. That Honiac has a time machine? Hang on, I'm coming down. Another chance, perhaps? Microphone, calm down. They're not dead, they're just lost in the fabric of time and space. How wonderful. You got rid of two competitors. You're on a roll. And without that bum around, an empty lab to boot. Free loot galore. Look! Ooh, you can't see me, but I'm being inconspicuous. Zilch! That's it! That's your excuse! I love Zilch. It's always there for you. A bigger problem? Yes, I heard. I doubt he knows much in the way of specifics. I knew Knife. He was just a simple bully. He wouldn't- Very well, then. I have a plan. We made the right call. Knife would be spilling our beans right now if he received the boot. Now we have to make sure he sees reason. Remember, we get Knife in our favor by catching his attention. A sneeze? A sneeze? Mike, you blew it! Who says excuse me after what? you sneeze? What? What am I supposed to say? Bless I mean, I me and bless myself? myself. You're the one who's and always you trying to be my proper. And What's your problem? Something? Well, I see your savagery hasn't devolved since our last encounters. Get off the moral high horse. Clearly Don't being get me started on morality. As opposed I to throwing me isn't even now playing this game right. We just want to help! Per se. Hmm. That's quite a reach. <laughs> we just want to help! Is this you holding a grudge over my true self? For why? Everyone knows who I am now. Pardon? Look, I'd like to apologize to you, Mike. I could stand to be a bit more open. No, enough, enough! Well now, who's left? Hello! Allow me to guide you to your goal. 
Don't act so surprised. I have been dragging you along for a while now. Oh, inevitably. <laughs> Ooh. Shh, mute it. That vile vile thinks she has it all figured out. But even she overlooked the true potential of Meepad's teleportation. It's powerful, yes. But imagine how far he could go with our touch. Finishing touches? While I'm preoccupied, might you be able to do some shopping for me? Buy me some time. It's on sale. In bulk. I know what you're gonna say. Oh no! You murdered him! Sleep mode! But it was an excellent question. We need to teleport freely. Yes, of course. I love the guy. Not necessary. Teamwork prevails. Perfect. Aliens rarely are. Steal him back. Now! See? This is why you listen to me, Mike. Delectable, isn't it? Finally, a taste of recognition. Finally, I can finally- Surely it couldn't have been nothing.